Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook. Maiman. Sign in at the beginning of the game. Chapter 21. By the Waterfall River. It was still raining lightly. It made the ground look a little muddy, but neither Natasha Romanoff nor Wanda cared about it, and Natasha Romanoff was more excited and looking forward to it. Because Wanda is preparing to teach her pranayama. Breathing method, as the name suggests, breathes in a specific rhythm, absorbs a large amount of oxygen and infuses it into the cells of the whole body, strengthening the heart and lungs and basic physical fitness. The origin of breathing method comes from the ancient oriental country, the breathing method of the sun. Wanda was youthful and beautiful in a gray sweater and sweatpants. She briefly introduced the breathing method, and then motioned Natasha Romanoff to look across the river. Natasha Romanoff looked in the direction Wanda was pointing. I saw the kids on the other side, who were training hard. No matter who it was, Sergei or Alina, who was only 10 years old, some of them were carrying very heavy metal plates, and some were doing bench presses. Stretching, but everyone is obviously breathing with a certain breathing rhythm when training. Natasha Romanoff couldn't help being shocked by the visual impact that far exceeds the amount of training for adults and even athletes. It's incredible. Natasha Romanoff commented on this. Based on her knowledge, she is very clear about the significance of breathing methods. Through training, she can accelerate the strengthening of physical fitness. After a few years of training, teenage children can use their physical strength beyond the limit of the human body. It can even be said that once this breathing method is known to a certain force or country, it will inevitably cause a storm. It's no wonder that Li Ang is so cautious, even though he has extremely powerful strength, he keeps such a low profile. It's really incredible that its appearance has changed us. Wanda nodded in agreement, but it was also a pun. It not only changes the physical fitness, but also the self-confidence in the heart. The breath of the sun is the origin of all breathing methods, but it seems to have the power of the sun, it is too violent, except for Li Ang, the rest of us can't bear it, so through Li Ang we develop, with the breath of the sun, and opened up their own breathing method that suits them. So you will also find your own suitable breathing method. Wanda explained very carefully. Then she began to know that Natasha Romanoff began to breathe. In fact, she was also curious about what kind of breathing method Natasha Romanoff would be suitable for, so she created a new one by herself. Natasha Romanoff is a spy, originally remembered, is absolutely top-notch physically. Breathing is not difficult for her, but finding that breathing rhythm is not so easy. Just finding the right breathing rhythm, it took Natasha Romanoff a full day to improve. Fortunately, in terms of time, Natasha Romanoff is not in a hurry. Here, she has a lot of time to explore. Approaching night. Natasha Romanoff slowly opened her eyes, waking up from her rhythmic breathing. Wanda also ended her day of practice, with a few drops of crystal sweat on her forehead. Greeted everyone to go home and prepare dinner. So Natasha Romanoff saw such a picture, a group of people on the other side of the river unloaded their exercise equipment, Pietro's ghostly figure appeared in front of him as soon as his eyes were pierced, and the rest of them jumped and crossed the river for tens of meters. Even ten-year-olds are the same. Amazing jumping and explosive power, you can see Natasha Romanoff blinking. Well, a bunch of little Superman get together, you'll have to get used to it. At the same time, in an area with narrow waterfalls deep in the Ural Mountains, the water vapor is very humid, and the surrounding vegetation is muddy. And Li Ang is standing on the ground of Ping Tan, wearing a vest, sweating all over his body, carrying a stone weighing 20 or 30 tons, the tight muscles of his arms and vest have perfect lines like a sculpture. Breathing is not rapid, on the contrary it is very flat. Seeing that the night was approaching, he casually threw the huge amounts of stone aside, and the ground shook with a, bang. The entire boulder is sunken into a small portion of the ground. Standing in front of this stone, Liang twisted his neck and made a crisp sound. He stretched out his hand, and saw that the dark luster instantly covered his arm. Starting from the breathing method and the transformation of the sparkling fruit, the strength of the basic physical fitness has increased rapidly, but the speed has slowed down. In the future, we can focus on the development of the sparkling fruit and the three-color domineering. I have laid a solid foundation, and the follow-up goal is fruit awakening, the apex of three-color domineering. To achieve the goal, there are not many people on earth who can limit me. Two years later, it will be the beginning of my sailing. 
No matter what kind of things Li Ang can sign in two years, but two years later is the beginning of his era when he swears to the world. With Wanda in their presence, he no longer thinks about the lone wolf. His goal will never be based on the earth. The path of the strong will never end. Death, eternity, Bisandi and other greatness are his goals. Although it is far away, he will work hard for it. On this path, he prefers to grow up with Wanda and the others. When embarking on this path, he also tends to establish a power, and in the future, he will create his own kingdom of God just like Asgard. Hard work and enjoyment have never been opposites. He likes the power gained from hard work, and is willing to enjoy the beauty of this world when he is tired, not to mention that he is not vulgar. He came to this world so hard, isn't it just for freedom and enjoyment, money, beauty, he all of them. To become an ascetic monk even when he has the conditions is simply insane. Huh. He exhaled lightly, and with a dazzling golden light, it exploded into a cross star, and his figure disappeared into the night. Cabin. Everyone was preparing dinner together, but Li Ang didn't show up for a long time. Natasha Romanoff, who was kneading flour with Wanda, asked her own question. Wanda mischievously played with a stick of flour in her hand, and replied, when Li Ang practiced, he would arrive home a little later than we did at night. He usually went deep into the Ural Mountains. The place is very secluded and full of nature. Somewhat like meditation, Natasha Romanoff thought. Maybe it is. When he is practicing, he will empty himself and try to blend into the natural environment as much as possible. It seems to be a comprehension of all things. I don't quite understand that. As she said that, Wanda seemed to sense something, and looked up at the door of the wooden house. Natasha Romanoff didn't know, so she followed her gaze. In the next second, dense golden particles gathered to form a human figure, which was Li Ang wearing a vest. Such ability shocked Natasha Romanoff. Is this the ability that he said he acquired through testing at the test base? Li Ang can manipulate light, and can also turn into light. Seeing Natasha Romanoff's expression, Wanda said with a chuckle. Manipulate light. Natasha Romanoff's heart is full of waves. This kind of ability can be strong or weak, and it seems very general, but if it is used properly at the right time, Li Ang originally can be a human-shaped nuclear bomb. The image of Li Ang was a little clearer in his heart. But this also made Natasha Romanoff feel more secure. After all, Li Ang is the backbone of this family, the stronger she is, the safer she is, no wonder Li Ang, Wanda and the others are dismissive of Drakef. Under such an ability, the number of people and weapons will not work at all. In the evening, as usual, everyone finished their dinner. The difference was that under the instruction of Li Ang, Natasha Romanoff started to teach everyone. As the world's top spy, Natasha Romanoff has rich experience in assassination, language, culture, and communication skills. Moreover, it is at the top expert level for human psychology, micro-expression analysis, i emotion changes, etc. She could be at the professor level. With her teaching, the lack of knowledge and experience of these children can be made up. The rabbit's soul made Li Ang never forget that knowledge is power. This can also be fully cashed out from Tony Stark. For example, Li Ang would teach himself martial arts when he was free, to see if it could be applied to the shiny fruit. Which teenager does not have the dream of King Frieza releasing an energy ball with one finger to dry out the Saiyan planet? He wanted to too. Why won't Wanda and a group of children feel bored and boring in the mountains? The reason is simple, that is enrichment. Dot 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 dot. In 2008, time passed by slowly. At this time, a lot of things happened in American society, the World Cultural Center, the Overlord, that is, the public opinion became more and more resistant to mutant. One attack after another made mutants' living environment and status extremely difficult. In particular, Magneto, the leader of the Mutant Eagle brand, is gone forever on the way to make troubles, which also makes this kind of public opinion more intense. Various conspiracies against mutant emerge and endlessly. Except for the United States, the Eastern European continent is much more stable. Li Ang and his family, who are still in the dormant period, only eat melons through the computer. They sympathize with the mutant environmental problems, but there is nothing they can do. But in this year, a sudden change interrupted the peaceful family. It was also the Ural Mountains on this day. 
At the moment, the sky was hit by a blizzard again, and the heavy snow turned the entire Ural Mountains and even nearby urban areas into white. The fire in the fireplace exudes warmth and dispels the coldness of the cabin. On the sofa of the wooden house, Wanda is one year older and is learning new university knowledge with a tablet. It has to be said that with the improvement of basic physical fitness, memory and spirit have also been strengthened accordingly, not to mention learning from Natasha Romanoff's spy memory enhancement plate. As a result, in terms of knowledge, not to mention how proficient it is, but at least it can be understood or even thoroughly understood. Maybe it's because of learning water breathing, which also makes Wanda more clear and stable like water, and also has the habit of patience. Learning may be a boring process for others, but it is a joy for Wanda. Other people in the room are also holding tablets and earphones to learn knowledge. The inner minds of the children who climbed up from the abyss of hell are strong and mature, and each of them knows that strength and knowledge are indispensable for the future. The atmosphere appears to be harmonious. The same is true for Liang holding two little sables who lost their parents from the mountains in his arms, looking at the laptop, but basically what he sees are some things reported by the media on the internet. Submission does not mean isolation from the world, and the corresponding information is indispensable, which Natasha Romanoff does very well. At this time, Natasha Romanoff came from the kitchen with a plate of oat milk she made in it. In a year's time, Natasha Romanoff came out of the closed state and regarded herself as a member of the family. Because she is the oldest, she also played the role of sister. Thank you sister Natasha Romanoff. Thanks. As Natasha Romanoff handed the oat milk to Wanda and others, and received everyone's thanks, Natasha Romanoff put the plate on the wooden table and made it to Liang's side. The grey down sweater did not conceal her good figure, on the contrary, a year of practice made her temperament fade away and become more gentle. How about it? Except for the public criticism of Mutant, there are not many major events. The only thing that people care about is the fact that the US military is secretly tracking down a big green monster. I have to say that the hacker groups in the US that claim to be the truth act as a way for us to understand the outside world. Platform. The world will never be short of these people. That's true. It's a pity that the gang of Hydra hit it very well, and they changed the original layout over the past year. Speaking of this, Liang was very upset, and there was no place to squeeze the wool. Fortunately, there is no shortage of gangster drug cartels, otherwise how would they rob Fuji himself? How do you feed your family? Natasha Romanoff raised her red lips slightly, and sighed, I didn't expect that Hydra, which was thought to be dead, actually existed. Hydra organization, a terrible existence during World War II. It was supposed to disappear into the long river of history, but I didn't expect it to be hidden in this world. Even Natasha Romanoff had to express surprise. However, after practicing breathing techniques, arm domineering, and knowledge-based domineering, she saw the damage seen caused by Li Ang's practice intentionally or unintentionally, and she immediately felt that these organizations did not seem to be too much of a threat. She believes that if Li Ang is really willing to spend time and energy, destroying organizations like Hydra is not a big problem. It can only be said that the ability to manipulate light is really terrifying. I have to say that this mature little man really gave people a great sense of security. Natasha Romanoff glanced at Li Ang's side face without leaving any trace, his eyes flickered slightly. Li Ang said he didn't know about this, and he didn't know what happened to the spy beauty beside him. Just as he continued to look at some secrets released by the so-called Truth Own Hacker Group, suddenly a vast and incomparable spiritual energy swept across in an instant, and time and space seemed to freeze at that moment. This majestic energy is very subtle and fast, almost undetectable, but Li Ang has been very mature in the past two years, and he captured this in an instant. He stood up suddenly, and the two little sables on his body were thrown off, and he fell to the side and screamed in dissatisfaction. However, Liang didn't care, looking up at the ceiling with his eyes flickering. Not only Liang, but also Wanda's complexion changed, as if she also sensed something. Liang's action immediately attracted the attention of Natasha Romanoff, Sergei and others. The rest of them took off their earphones and stood up to look at Liang. They don't know what happened to make Liang so moved. They rarely see him this way. Only Wanda was leaning against the sofa, with a red light shining in her eyes. Li Ang. 
Natasha Romanoff called tentatively from the side. Only then did Li Ang lower his head slightly, but his brows were full of doubts. That's it. Just now, a huge spiritual force swept over. Li Ang explained for a while, and then noticed something wrong with Wanda. He walked up to Wanda and squatted down. Under the attention of everyone, he looked directly into Wanda's eyes and said, What did you see, Wanda? Quote. I seem to see an intermittent picture. Wanda took a deep breath, her face was a little pale, and her tone was a little angry. What picture? I saw the picture of what we have experienced before. Liang, those children, were thrown on the test bench, sat and tested by the villains in the cruelest way, that picture, I. Wanda seemed unable to recall that seeing the picture, the tone was a little choked up. What she saw, she thought of herself, Liang and others for a while. Even more miserable. Pietro was standing next to Wanda, and he also knelt down, holding Wanda's hand to give him warmth. Seeing this, other people also came over. The two little princesses, Alina, even ran over and knelt on the sofa to lean on Wanda. Be obedient and don't speak. How could this be? Seeing Wanda like this, Natasha Romanoff felt quite uncomfortable. In a year, she had already regarded Wanda's children as relatives. Seeing Wanda's eyes getting wet, Liang frowned and explained to everyone, the huge spiritual energy just now should have launched Wanda origin magic power. Origin magic power originally came from a great existence with incredible energy. What Wanda saw, maybe because of a certain medium, connected Wanda origin magic power and spirit, and saw that picture, maybe the future. Li Ang's statement is not unfounded speculation. To be honest, there was only one person he could think of with that kind of huge spiritual energy. Professor X. Moreover, this can only be achieved by using a spiritual power augmentation helmet. Based on the Professor X point, the group of children who Wanda saw as a cruel experiment cannot actually guess the source of the picture. As twins, Pietro doesn't care about these, he only cares about Wanda's current emotions. How are you? However, what made Pietro heartbroken was that Wanda ignored him at all, but grabbed Li Ang's hand, her lips moved and she hesitated to speak. Li Ang looked directly into Wanda's beautiful eyes and understood what it meant. You want to help those kids? Yes, we were all deep in the abyss of despair, but you saved us as that light, I. Wanda couldn't say it anymore, she thought she was too selfish. She thinks that if she continues talking, she is using her own thoughts to kidnap Li Ang, which may cause their original peaceful life to be broken. But Li Ang didn't care at all, he looked at Wanda seriously and seriously. Wanda, as I said, we are a family, I care about myself, and I care about your thoughts. I know, but. Wanda bit her lip. Listen, you are my family. I want you to be happy and happy. We will face everything together, whether it is the mountains and the tsunami, or the hail of bullets. We're always one and you want to save those kids, that's the right thing to think. Li Ang spoke gently, and gestured to Wanda while speaking. Wanda turned her head and looked around. Sergei, Pietro, and Alina were all looking at her with concerned and firm eyes. Also, we shouldn't be afraid of losing our peace in the face of a bunch of villains and scum. Li Ang's voice gradually became colder as he said, the ones who are afraid are those dregs. Let us use the most cruel means to send those fools to hell. He's just a mere scum, he doesn't care even if the entire United States is against each other. Compared to the United States, the so-called World Lighthouse, he cares more about Wanda. If Wanda becomes depressed and crazy, wouldn't he be at a loss? America is a hammer. Ha, huh, I've been practicing for several years, and my cross sword is already very hungry. Seligai put on a cold pose. That's right, let's get rid of those fools. Yo ho, can you finally go out? The big guys expressed their opinions one after another, which made Wanda's nose sore and her heart infinitely warm. Then let's go, the things I gave you can finally be used in actual combat. Natasha Romanoff shrugged. It is said to be a departure, but in fact there is a lot of preparation work. First of all, Wanda saw not many fragmented pictures, mainly because there was no way to directly confirm the location. Fortunately, one of the fragments in Wanda is the external structure. Similar to a lake, and a dam. Wanda used origin magic power to transmit this picture to Natasha Romanoff, who drew it by hand, and then uploaded it to the database for comparison. Finally, after searching for a long time, finally found the final location. 
From Canada, Alclay Lake Industrial Area. Natasha Romanoff turned the laptop slightly, and let Wanda look at it. Wanda looked at it for a long time, and finally nodded, it should be this place. This is a dam. From a structural point of view, it is indeed suitable for building a base. It is not only hidden but also isolated from outside tourists. Answered by Natasha Romanoff. At this time, Li Ang stood up. I have already booked a ticket for the early morning, and I will leave in three hours. After he finished speaking, he turned his head and saw a group of Hulala people had already changed their clothes, each holding black bags in their hands. The report is full of bulging, and it is obvious that all of them are weapons used. Well, it's a bit difficult to get these things through the airport, but maybe I know a guy who can send them over. Natasha Romanoff glanced helplessly. Li Ang nodded in agreement with Natasha Romanoff's proposal, and then looked at Alina, Polina and Pushkin. The three little guys were the youngest, only 11 years old. You are at home. Ah, I'm going too, isn't it a family? Irina was not happy, and Polina and Pushkin also pouted and were very dissatisfied. Everyone was dispatched, leaving the three of them alone. Li Ang walked up to the three little guys, squatted down, looked at the three little guys at the same level, stretched out his arms to hold the three little guys and whispered in his ear, although you have also practiced breathing techniques, you are not strong enough after all. We may fight against a group of mutant or soldier. The time that belongs to you has not yet come, and you still need to be patient for a while. The little guys are indeed not weak. After three years of breathing method practice, one person can easily defeat fully armed soldiers, but it is not enough. They have not reached the full concentration. Normal state, armed and knowledgeable are quite good, but the former sufficient basic physical fitness and physical strength are required. The body is not fully opened, and the three little guys who have tapped the potential of their bodies will still struggle against dense bullets. Not to mention mutant. The three little guys looked directly into Li Ang's gentle eyes, smacked their little mouths, and finally nodded their heads sensibly. Then, you must come back safely, we will wait for you at home. Alina stretched out her small arms to hug Li Ang, and directly imprinted a sweet scent on Li Ang. Seeing this, the other two little guys didn't show weakness and gave one to each. Li Ang laughed heartily, rubbed the heads of the little guys, and said softly, we will be back soon, and don't we have a computer at home, I will send you a video then. Good. Ever since, under the watchful eyes of the three little guys, Li Ang and others disappeared into the snowstorm in the night sky. Including Li Ang Natasha Romanoff, there are 13 people in total. Fortunately, it is a pickup truck, so it can accommodate it. As for the boys in the back seat, they are strong and don't care about the wind and snow. Meanwhile, Canada, Alclay Lake Industrial Area. In the air raid shelter-like building, dark and damp. And a bald old man in a blue suit and a helmet was sitting in a wheelchair panting for breath, and behind him a taller Asian woman in a black leather jacket helped him take off the helmet. The old man at the moment is exhausted. By the way, the woman brought him another helmet with thin wires stuck in it. After finishing all this, he nodded to the man standing opposite the old man. The man was very satisfied with his military uniform. He looked at the old man, and the old man looked at the man in front of him with all his strength, William. Oh. Woke up. William looked at the old man as if he was looking at prey. It really is a powerful force, and it is worthy of the famous Professor X. Professor X didn't speak, but wanted to activate ability under extreme exhaustion, but in the next second there was endless pain, and the helmet on his head also turned on a red light. William shrugged, pointed to his head with a gloved finger and explained kindly, this thing is a suppressor specially developed for you, so that you cannot enter my mind. Professor X glanced at the young man next to William who was also sitting in a wheelchair as if he was demented. That's a good idea. His ability created illusions and controlled you for a short time. William patted the shoulder of the young man beside him, who didn't respond at all. You just put on a brainwave amplifier, let you spread your psychic power over the entire world in an instant. Unfortunately, it was only that moment that made you wake up. What did you do to him? He is your son. Professor X realized a lot, he looked at the young man and said to William. No, Charles, my son is dead. William snorted, a moment of anger welled up in his heart, but then he smiled coldly, he will immerse you in another world. Brainwave amplifier is indeed a good thing. When you completely lose yourself, 
you will take this thing returned to your school, use your power to find all the mutants in the world. And then kill them with your own hands. After speaking, he turned around and took the woman away. Leaving Professor X with a shocked expression on his face, the professor wanted to struggle, but his hands were entangled by the bandages on the armrests and he couldn't break free. William, the professor shouted loudly, but all he was left with was an indifferent back. Oh my God, what am I supposed to do? The professor stared at the man in front of him, almost despair flashed in his eyes. But in his memory, he seemed to see a special and different girl, kind and strong. It was near noon during the day, and the plane was in Canada. Liang and Natasha Romanoff first went to the black dealer and bought two smuggled pickup trucks. By the way, they waited for the weapons brought by Natasha Romanoff through special channels. After finishing the breakfast, they took Shelly Guy and others went to Lake Arclay. At the moment, Lake Alclair also had a heavy snowfall due to seasonal reasons. The world seemed to turn into a piece of silver. The two pickup trucks drove along the road. Due to the heavy snow, the time efficiency was not too fast. Li Ang, who was driving in the lead, frowned. Isn't it so convenient to just have a car? It's really inconvenient. It's best to need a private jet for cross-country, but you probably can't afford it. Natasha Romanoff, the rear driver, joked. Li Ang thought about his wallet private jets and so on, it was indeed not something he could play with. But that doesn't mean he can't think about it. For example, Shield's Quinn Jet, Professor X's self-made Blackbird fighter, he thinks it's pretty good, it's a universal flight device, and it also has radar shielding, optical invisibility, and doesn't need aviation permission. On a better note, Ancient One's portal. In fact, we can also look forward to a wave of sign-in system. Maybe you can sign in and get an ability similar to teleportation, but after all, the randomness is very high. This kind of existing wool is a waste if it is not squeezed. Write this down in a small notebook, and when the right time comes, you can go for a wave. The road conditions are not strong, and Natasha Romanoff is debugging the headset communication system in the back seat. As an all-around player, Natasha Romanoff's professional knowledge in this area can be of great help. After confirmation, everyone's headphone channel has been connected. After more than an hour, Liang and others almost arrived at the wooden destination. Alclay Lake. The road has been covered by heavy snow, and there are only tire marks left by two cars on the road. The surrounding mountains and jungles are covered by heavy snow, which is a remote place with few people. Under the heavy snow, the scenery is also worth admiring. Under the cliff of the road, there is a huge amount of river and lake, and at the end, a very old dam is built. At a glance, it can be seen that the dam has been abandoned for a long time. Boom. 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 The doors opened and closed one by one, and Li Ang and others got out of the car and came to the edge of the cliff. Because of the first collective mission, Pietro and Seligai showed obvious excitement on their faces. After all, they have worked hard for a long time to strengthen themselves. In addition to protecting themselves, they also need to show value. Li Ang is wearing a windbreaker, in the heavy snow, like a black flickering flame. The freezing temperatures didn't bother him, or anyone else. From a structural point of view, the base should be just below the dam, and the entrance should be the flood discharge channel. Natasha Romanoff stood aside and observed for a while, then stretched out her finger and pointed to the closed metal spillway under the bus. Li Ang nodded and closed his eyes slightly. Wang. The powerful senses combined with the arrogance of knowledge and knowledge that he has practiced for a long time, instantly covered the entire surrounding of the dam. In his sensory world, the whole world seemed to be caught in black and white. Information. Small and frightened cries, yelling, and footsteps converged into a stream of information and passed into my mind. It's right here, there are quite a few people inside. So, let's get started. I don't want to see one of the devils inside alive. Anyone who tortures and tortures others, where should he go? Hell. Then please let you open the gate of hell. Boom. As Li Ang's voice fell, I saw Seligai, Wanda, Pietro and all the children beside me were smashed by the air waves, and each figure was like a sharp sword piercing the air, galloping towards the direction of the dam. The speed and power are as fast as armor piercing bullets. Li Ang looked at Natasha Romanoff, who shrugged give me some time. After finishing speaking, he jumped down like a swift and fierce leopard cat. 
Li Ang's figure turned into bright particles and disappeared in place. Boom. When the shocking noise exploded, the heavy metal closure of the dam's flood discharge channel was unprecedentedly damaged, and Wanda's anger poured out at this moment. The tyrannical origin magic power was released with all its strength, and the entire metal mouth was ripped out almost instantly. It hit the ground not far away. And this huge amount of movement also attracted the attention of everyone in the base. The several machine guns installed in the flood discharge channel were blazing, and the dense bullets poured out like a torrential rain, covering the entire channel, and before the rest of the people could make a move, Sumarokov was as strong as Sergei's the boy was the first to make the move. With only a vest on his body, his strong muscles and thick arms are fully displayed. While traveling at high speed, with his mouth slightly open, a ray of air engulfed vigorous oxygen and injected it into the cells of his body. He suddenly pulled out the golden double knives placed behind his back. The double knives connected by chains had red handles. The edge of the knife is green, the inside of the knife is red and gold, the blade is black, and there is a golden knife pattern on the side. The domineering color of knowledge unfolds, and the sensory world is stretched to the extreme. Clang. 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 The pair of knives were extremely flexible in his hands, wielding them like splashing ink, and within a second, all the bullets were cut apart precisely, and the dense sparks bloomed in the dark passageway like fireworks. In this gorgeous Mars, the figures of Seligai and others disappeared in the passage in an instant. The moment the machine gun was skipped, a beautiful arc of knife light was cut, and several machine guns were chopped into pieces in an instant. At the same time, they also came to the end of the passage, which was surrounded by cave passages in all directions. Without any hesitation, as Wanda yelled, disperse, everyone turned into black shadows and disappeared into these cave entrances. From violently dismantling the huge metal closure of the flood discharge to breaking into the end of the flood discharge channel, the entire meteor came down in less than three seconds. The speed was so fast that even the soldiers and guards in the base had no time to react. Beep. 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 The frenzied and urgent siren urges the defenders in the base to hastily pick up their weapons, but unfortunately, just as they turned around, they were greeted by swift and fiery figures. In the end, the line of sight freezes, only the face can be vaguely seen, and finally the consciousness completely dissipates. In the main control room of the base, William. Stryker was furious. Who doesn't even know who attacked the base? Where are we guarding the soldiers? Sir, the other party may also be suspected to be a mutant. The speed and strength are simply what ordinary people can have. Our people are being slaughtered. The subordinate sat in front of the monitor, pointed at the screens on the computer screens, and said in a trembling tone. He was terrified. Although he was also a soldier who had experienced many battles, when had he seen such a scene? From the surprise attack to the entry into the base, the efficiency was so fast and the methods so ruthless that it was unimaginable. In less than three minutes, except for the control center here, hundreds of soldiers outside were almost slaughtered. The firearm in his hand is completely useless. William looked at the screen on the monitor, his forehead was bursting with blue veins, all those people used cold weapons, but they had nerves to react, and those who were fast were not normal people at all. Walk. William didn't talk nonsense, he turned around and opened the metal gate to leave for Professor X's location. At this time, only Professor X's ability can deal with those people in the base. However, just as the metal door opened, he stopped and his pupils shrank suddenly. Because, two strangers appeared in front of him, one was tall and straight in a black windbreaker, and the other was a woman in a tight black combat uniform. Before William could speak, the woman in the black leather armor beside her felt the danger. She clasped her hands, stretched out her sharp and long steel claws, and rushed towards the man like a female leopard. Just after taking a step, he saw a golden foot stretched out and kicked the woman's head in the blink of an eye. Boom. The terrifying force instantly smashed the woman aside, her entire upper body was smashed into the wall. Her legs twitched unconsciously a few times, dense cracks spread wantonly, and gravel continued to fall off the wall. The blasted air wave blew the hair of the three of them and swayed. At this moment, William froze in place and didn't dare to move. Cold sweat broke out on his forehead and his body began to tremble faintly. Natasha Romanoff. It was Li Ang who came, and the woman yelled softly. Natasha Romanoff nodded to Li Ang to accept it. 
She walked over to the control room with her slender legs and walked over to the control room. A soldier's neck was broken, and she sat in front of the computer and began to control it. Ho! Oh. At this time, the woman whose upper body was almost torn apart by a kick heard a faint voice from the woman embedded in the wall, her body trembling in an attempt to struggle. Liang slightly turned her head and took a look. Self-healing ability is so strong that people are enviable. After speaking, he turned his head to look at William, his eyes were cold and frightening, as if looking at a corpse. William's throat was a little dry, and he felt that the person in front of him was like a terrifying beast, ready to show its minions and tear him apart at any time. But he still didn't intend to give up, and summoned up the courage to say, I know who you are, but I'm a colonel in the US military, and this is my base, and what you've done. Shut up, trash. But he was interrupted by Li Ang before he finished speaking. Li Ang's tone was as cold as winter. Tell me, how many lives are contaminated on your test bench? This made William feel cold. Before he was about to quibble, Li Ang's voice came from his ear again. Forget it, I'm also interested in knowing that the best ending for a person like you is to go to hell. Ever since, William watched Li Ang point a finger at him. Wang. As the strange sound sounded, a bright cross star burst out between Li Ang, and the tiny fingertips contained terrifying energy. No, no, you can't kill me. William shouted in despair. His body trembled and took a few steps back, but unfortunately, accompanied by the bright golden beam, a burning pain surged into his heart, and his whole body instantly turned into a ball of flames. In the flames, he could only vaguely see that the man ruthlessly ignored him, turned around and left. He howled in pain in the flames, and stretched out his hand to try to grab Li Ang's back, but in the end the burning pain completely engulfed him, and he fell to his knees, completely losing his voice and the flames continued to burn until his corpse was burned to ashes. As for Natasha Romanoff, she didn't even bother to look at the dead William behind her, but carefully hacked into the data center to check. It's just that the more I look at it, the more Natasha Romanoff is furious. The pictures and data of the inhumane and anti-human experiments are all lives. She could even hear screams in a trance. This place is simply a large slaughterhouse, slaughtering innocent lives one after another. Natasha Romanoff turned her head and glanced at the charred corpse on the ground behind her. If this guy was still alive, she would definitely use her cruelest means of punishment to greet this devil. Cheap on you, bloody trash. Dot dot. In the place of detention in the base, a group of mutant children who were detained were terrified, but they listened to the sound outside with anticipation in their hearts. Did the professor come to rescue us? It must be, it's teacher Oluoluo, teacher Chin and the others are here. Be quiet, everyone, and don't disturb the teachers. The children cheer each other on. Just outside the gate of the prison, Wanda, Pietro, and Sergei found it, but there was a man standing at the gate. It didn't fit in with the soldiers outside, a combat uniform he had never seen before, with red quartz eyeglasses in his eyes, and a cold expression. Looks strong. Ha, I'll take care of it. Boom. Before Pietro finished speaking, Wanda waved his hand directly. The terrifying red chaos energy blasted the man and smashed it heavily on the machine beside him. The electric current flashed. In the ruins of scrapped machine parts, only the man's body could be seen twitching continuously. With. Ah, uh, all right. Pietro and Seligai were dumbfounded, seeing Wanda's serious expression, they couldn't help shivering. Fear. Wanda ignored the inner activities of the two, and waved again, chaos energy tore a hole in the metal student, and she walked in with her steps. Walk into the slightly dirty holding room. There were several metal fences lying across the ground in front of her. She stepped forward and saw a group of timid and frightened children being imprisoned below through the fences. Some of the children were in pajamas, some in a rag. Those timid expressions and eyes made Wanda, Pietro, and Seligai think of themselves three years ago. Once upon a time, weren't they the same as these kids? I am in despair, numbness, and anxiety every day, waiting for death at any time. The pity and regret in Wanda's heart almost overflowed. Regardless of the filth, she lay on the fence, looked at the children with their little heads up through the gap, and said softly, Hey, little ones, how are you? Hello, sister, are you here to save us? Seeing Wanda's pretty face, a little girl felt the strong gentleness in her tone, so she plucked up her courage and asked timidly. 
Yes, little ones, I'm here to save you, can you hide in a corner? Wanda continued. The little guys were very well behaved, and they took a few steps back together hand in hand, and everyone shrank in the corner together, hugging the heads of the little friends beside them. This warm scene almost made Wanda cute. She smiled, got up from the ground, used the origin magic power energy, pulled out the metal barrier in front of her, threw it aside, and told the little guys not to be afraid. Then, under the surprised and excited eyes of the children, the red energy slowly floated up relying on the children. Standing in front of these little guys, Wanda squatted down, and glanced at the little faces of these kids one by one, a little pale, scared, excited, but nothing else, and she felt relieved a lot. At this time, Natasha Romanoff's voice came from my ear. Wanda, I see you. Wanda looked up at the camera in the corner above and nodded, are there any other children in custody? On the other end, Natasha Romanoff paused, and then continued, no more, you have everything there. Wanda was silent for a while, she heard the meaning, it should have been there but it was dead. Beside them, Pietro and Seligai were silent, with anger in their eyes. Wanda squeezed a word between her teeth, these bloody garbage. That's right, so most of this group of garbage has gone to hell. Natasha Romanoff responded. Wanda noticed the puzzled and frightened eyes of the children, she calmed down, and looked directly at the little girl in front of her, I'll take you out of here, okay. Good. The little girl nodded her head obediently. Wanda smiled, holding the little girl in her arms, holding a little boy with the other hand and the other children smiled and walked out the door. Sergei and Pietro guarded on both sides. On the way, a group of boys walked hand in hand while looking up at Sergei and Pietro, their eyes full of excitement and admiration. This is the hero who saved them. Especially Sergei, with a strong body of 1.8 meters and a cross sword in his hand, hit the young hearts of the boys with precision. So cool. Sergei noticed the eyes of the children and showed a sunny smile, which was very contagious, and it also made the children who were still a little nervous relax. On the way, Natasha Romanoff directed the crowd through the headset in the main control room. Not long after, the entire base was swept away. Everyone also gathered together. In the open place, the surrounding corpses were intimately thrown into an invisible corner under the gesture of Natasha Romanoff, so as to avoid unnecessary psychological shadow caused by children seeing them. Open space. Li Ang saw the well-behaved and sensible children beside Wanda who were full of curiosity but did not speak, and nodded. Glancing at Gennady again, Sumarokov and the others were holding a large metal box in their hands, which was filled with the metal that turned into adamantium liquid after cooling. As one of the hardest metals in the world, adamantium is not too suitable for making weapons. At this time, Natasha Romanoff came out from a strange cry, came to Li Ang's side, and took out two USB flash drives to signal. The good and the bad are all here, and the data has also been deleted by me. Very good. Li Ang nodded in satisfaction. Everything is perfect, Stryker's son was also killed by him casually, he is a poor child, it is better to give it a good time than to die, as for Professor X, let him knock out casually, he does not want to use domineering domineering to test whether he can resist this level of spiritual power. The rest were quite fruitful, and all that could be taken away were looted. Boss Li Ang, what about these two guys? At this time, Sumarokov and Sergei threw two people to the ground respectively. It was the man wearing glasses who fainted and the woman who was almost disabled by Li Ang's kick. At this time, the woman had recovered through the self-healing ability, and stared at the others viciously, but she just didn't dare to make a move. Li Ang ignored the guys on the ground and walked up to the woman, his eyes were as sharp and majestic as an eagle. What's your name? I, my name is Yuriko Koyama, I don't remember the rest. The woman looked at Li Ang, without arrogance and anger, and there were different emotions in her eyes, she whispered. She is an experimental subject successfully transformed by Stryker. She has been controlled by drugs for a long time. There should be some reasons for her memory loss. Natasha Romanoff browsed the base database to find out about the woman, and explained. Li Ang nodded, did not speak immediately, but fell into deep thought, obviously needing to think about how to deal with this woman. Maybe seeing that Li Ang was making a choice, Koyama Yuriko immediately said, I want to follow you. Um, this made Li Ang and others look surprised. 
Li Ang frowned slightly and looked directly into the woman's eyes, who said firmly, I forgot the past, and I don't want to die, so I want to follow you. I can be your slave. If it was someone else, she would definitely run away immediately, but Li Ang is different, his strength is intuitively felt by Yuriko Koyama. Since she can't escape, she is willing to submit to Li Ang, if this is her inner choice. Li Ang stared at this beast-like woman, and he could see the truest thoughts in her heart. She's been out of the world for so long, and in her genes, she's destined to be a beast. Beast would die in madness if he were released from his bondage. She needs a rope. Li Ang is the one holding the rope, he nodded. Yes, follow me from now on. He also has a female version of Wolverine in the future, and it looks pretty good. What about this man? Pietro kicked the fainted man under his feet. He's Mr. Scott, not a villain. One of the little boys whispered timidly. Okay, the teachers and professors are under control. It seems that this military colonel is very powerful. Pietro said a little venomously. He really hadn't heard of Scott's name much, but Professor X, the famous mutant he is still clear. Seeing that professors of this level have been arrested, it can be seen how powerful that colonel is. Regardless of his mental calculations or his lack of intentions, the unlucky colonel never expected that a group of people with high levels of strength would suddenly pop up to raid the base. He was defeated in a blitzkrieg without even a reaction time, and it can only be said that the loss was not wronged. Natasha Romanoff said at this time, they will arrive in no more than an hour or so at most, and we have to leave. This one is referring to them as the X-Men of the Mutant Academy. The students, teachers and professors were arrested, and the X-Men naturally couldn't remain indifferent. Natasha Romanoff sent a coordinate signal to the college at the heat stroke information station, and then she found that the signal was intercepted immediately, and even invaded the base network. It must have been received arrive. With the speed of the opponent's Blackbird fighter, it must arrive soon. Li Ang turned around to look at these little guys, and said softly, Your teacher will be here soon, can you wait here for a while? Good. The little guys nodded their heads sensibly and said in unison. Li Ang smiled gently, he didn't want to face the X-Men directly yet, and it will take time to test his follow-up direction this time. However, according to Li Ang's idea, the follow-up gains will definitely not be small. Well, goodbye, little ones. Li Ang stood up, nodded with the others and turned around to leave, but just as he took a step, he saw a little girl running over with short legs and saved Wanda's leg. Sister, I want to follow you too. The little girl's move surprised everyone. Li Ang stopped and looked at the little Asian girl. Aren't you a student of Mutant College? I'm not, I was caught here. The little girl summoned up her courage and whispered. What's your name? My name is Clarice Ferguson. You seem to be an Asian. I don't know, I've been called this since I was a child. Okay. Li Ang walked up to Wanda, squatted down, looked directly into the little girl's eyes, and said seriously, are you sure you want to follow us? Yeah. Clarice nodded her little head, her little face was full of seriousness, as if she had decided on some major life event, and Li Ang smiled after seeing it. Then follow us. Li Ang touched the little girl's head, stood up and turned to leave, Wanda took the little girl's little hand and followed closely behind. A group of little guys were left behind, eagerly watching the people who rescued them slowly disappear into the spillway. After an hour, in the sky far from the dam, in the snowy clouds, a black fighter plane slowly descended. Landed on flat ground that obscured the view in the distance. The aircraft cabin door opened, and a group of people in combat uniforms of various colors came down as the iron stairs fell. The leader was a tall and strong man with a beard on his face. He turned his head and glanced at the last few young people in the crowd, and said in a low voice, you guys stay in the plane. We can also participate in the mission. A young man said dissatisfied. The same goes for the men and women around me. However, the man stretched out his finger and scolded. Listen, this is not a joke, this is a war, and your grade does not allow you to participate in this battle. Teacher. The young man became more and more dissatisfied and turned to look at the woman with wine-red hair. The woman's beautiful face was also full of seriousness. John, you are not members of the X-Men. Logan is right, you are not yet ready to fight, you need to pick us up here. Okay. The young man called John was very dissatisfied, but he could only accept it. An old man wearing a brown helmet and armor cloak said coldly, 
ridiculous and self-righteous protection. They all have this extraordinary ability, but this kind of protection only limits their growth. We discussed it, Magneto, they still need to learn. The woman pushed back not to be outdone. The old man smiled coldly and was not talking nonsense. Okay, now is not the time to quarrel. No matter what the purpose of the person who sent the coordinate signal is, we must work together. The dark-skinned woman with short white hair persuaded from the side. According to the previous plan, Raven, it's your turn to play. Magneto looked at the blue-skinned woman beside him, who smiled, and with the blue skin squirming, a brand new person appeared here. Impressively the same as Wolverine Logan. Just as they were about to go to the dam base alone, an old voice entered everyone's minds. Jane, Eric, Logan, come in. Ten minutes later. Inside the base, X-Men, Magneto, stared blankly at the group of radish heads and the man with redstone screen eyes. Looking at Professor X with a gentle smile. So, what the hell happened? Charles. Magneto Eric asked bluntly. What about a big fight? He's also going to use his old friend to stage a plan that goes awry. I think there is always justice in this world, Eric. The professor said softly, his eyes flickering. The base confronted for a long time, but Magneto Eric did not get the answer he wanted. The plan was also completely ruined, which made the leader of the Hawk faction mutant furious, but in the end, he chose to leave. All the information and all valuable things here were either destroyed or taken away. Magneto, who left angrily, just chatted a harsh word. It is worth mentioning that Wolverine Logan found a laboratory and saw some familiar equipment, which seemed to faintly awaken some memory fragments from a long time ago. But the fragmented memories were very messy, and he only felt a headache, but in the end he still didn't remember all of them. After that, Professor X and others returned to the fighter plane. The younger generation Bobby, Mary is very happy that the professor and Mr. Scott have returned safely, and the X-Men finally got the answer from the professor. A group of people who didn't know the name suddenly raided the striker test base. Although the professor didn't know the details of the battle, Logan, as a veteran of the battlefield, judged from the mess and details in the base that the raid was undoubtedly a crushing blitzkrieg. The ability of Stryker's gang was killed in less than five minutes without fighting back. Surveillance data is deleted, and valuable things are also detailed, which can be described as plucking wild goose. Such a group of powerful people immediately aroused the vigilance of Logan and others. Inside the aircraft rest cabin, Storm Orlo looked at Scott. You have had brief contact with them, do you have anything to say, Scott? They give me the feeling that they are very young, very young, probably in their teens and less than 20 years old, and they are very strong, very strong. Scott said helplessly. He said that he was powerful and added that he couldn't say anything else. He was controlled by drugs and hypnotic ability, but his memory was still there. He was knocked unconscious and shattered by the rage girl when he was about to make a move. His inner pride. Being knocked unconscious by a girl, who can bear this kind of blow. Stryker is a colonel in the military, and he controls a special operations force. This is his direct descendant. He was fully armed in the base and was slaughtered in a blitzkrieg. I'm afraid few in the world can have this ability. Chin shook her head in disbelief. Stryker originally may not say how strong he is, but he has soldiers and guns. Although he controlled the professor and Scott in a conspiratorial manner, and even raided the school, it is enough to prove his originally ability. Such a person was killed so easily, those mysterious people are really extraordinary. Everyone chatted, but they didn't notice the unusual look in the eyes of Bobby and other young people. Especially John the Burning Man, he was looking forward to it even more. A group of teenagers can achieve such a feat and kill decisively. This is the life he yearns for. If he can, he really hopes to find those people to join them immediately. Here, the X-Men are still dissecting. Besides, Stryker is a military colonel, if he is killed, then we. Beast who was muscular and had blue hair on his face, patted his head and said with a headache. As a diplomat, he didn't know much about the hostility of American society towards mutant, especially the attitude of the government. Especially before Stryker used drugs to control Nightcrawler to assassinate the president, the relationship between the two parties reached a freezing point. This time Stryker's death obviously only deepened the contradiction, and mutant's environment will become worse. 
Logan and several other X-Men members immediately became serious, thinking of this question with serious faces. On the contrary, Charles shook his head slightly. Maybe the situation is not as bad as we thought, Hank. Why do you say that? Maybe those mysterious people might surprise us. The professor smiled mysteriously. Through the perspective of the children's memories in his mind, he went back to the scenes in the base as if he was close to him. He saw the exchanges and expressions of those outstanding young people. He admired the meticulous thought of the leading young man. Thinking of the deleted data and surveillance footage, the professor already had a guess in his mind. He was really looking forward to the next face-to-face -face communication with that boy. Well, it's just a little black belly, but who let the other party save him and his students? Temporary rental log cabin in a remote location in Canada. It was snowing heavily outside, but inside the house was extremely warm and comfortable because of the fireplace. There are two pickup trucks parked outside the wooden house. Inside, Natasha Romanoff and Wanda are holding dinner plates and putting the brewed cappuccino on the table, while others are excitedly preparing dinner for today. At this time, it will always arouse their joy. They like the process of making delicious food. And the little girl named Clarice changed into clothes after washing and bought some clothes on the way. Tie up some messy hair with rubber bands, so that the little dirty little girl becomes clean and beautiful. The little girl sat obediently on the sofa, sipping hot milk. While Li Ang and Natasha Romanoff stood by the window, carefully inspecting the harvest in the base. In fact, the harvest is not much, originally it is just a test base, and there is no valuable military equipment. Fortunately, adamantium is the first to be promoted. This thing is very valuable in the eyes of many people, but Li Ang does not intend to sell this thing. The good thing is definitely for his own use. In addition, it is Stryker's years of research and test data, and some military technology. The data obtained from the former mutant test is of low value in the eyes of targeted people. If it is sold to Hydra, it will definitely start with hundreds of millions of dollars. However, Liang does not intend to sell this thing at all, and the end result is to destroy it. First of all, the moral aspect is difficult. Even if it is really sold, his family will be regarded as divorced. So the real harvest is the U.S. military technology, which is too valuable. There is a very advanced drone technology and heavy transport aircraft technology. According to Natasha Romanoff, the value of these two gadgets is sold to the black gloves of certain countries, which is simply profitable. As for dare to sell. And what else did he dare not sell? What price do you think the East will offer? Li Ang touched his chin. Congratulations on becoming a billionaire. Natasha Romanoff shrugged. The United States has to admit that it leads the world in the fields of technology and military. Especially for the research and development of military equipment, it is even more cutting edge. The same is true for drones and transport aircraft. Therefore, this aspect also further proves the importance of the technical drawings of cutting edge technological military equipment. As long as the national strength is not too bad, with the technical drawings, it can basically be fully understood or even manufactured. And it contains too many core technologies. After a thorough understanding of these core technologies, this distance can be shortened. Therefore, the United States keeps technology secrets very tightly. It is so strict that if there is any possibility of leakage, intelligence agencies and even the military will be mobilized to kill. Those who sell technology will be executed for treason. The United States will never allow any country to distance itself from its own technological and military fields. This is exactly what makes this thing so precious. The billionaire that Natasha Romanoff said is not a fake big empty, or even a small one. Li Ang naturally understands too. So he looked at Natasha Romanoff, the expression in his eyes was obvious, and the latter shrugged, if you want to sell, I must have a way. But for insurance, I need someone to help. Who do you want? Wanda and Pietro, Wanda's ability can read and even rewrite memory, which allows us to keep it as secret as possible. This trip will trouble you. Li Ang nodded, he has confidence in Natasha Romanoff, she is an expert after all. As for adamantium super density properties, it can be hard but full of penetrating power. It is not too suitable for making weapons. The most important thing is that this thing can be replicated. The formula happened to be downloaded to the USB flash drive by Natasha Romanoff. 
To put it simply, there will be no shortage of equipment in the future, and it can be sold to big dogs when there is a shortage of money. This trip was rewarding and Liang was very happy. After eating, I ate a few more bowls. There were two more members on this trip, Sayuri and Clarice. With Wanda, Sayuri's loyalty goes without saying, but when chatting with the little girl, a message but it made Liang even more surprised and pleasantly surprised. Because the little girl's ability is actually teleportation. The little girl possesses a kind of energy that twists the space to create a portal and adding the name immediately reminds Liang of the identity of the little girl. He actually picked up the future Twinkle Girl. This made Liang very happy. This girl's ability is not insignificant. Although he only knows a few words about flickering, he still remembers that when the little girl's ability is fully mature, she can teleport over long distances, even the earth and the moon, between. Not to mention how high the combat effectiveness is, at least the auxiliary ability is really useful. In an instant, Liang was full of tenderness towards the little girl, and even caringly kept adding vegetables while eating, which made the little girl very moved and happy. As an orphan since she was a child, she has kept the world warm and cold, and she has never had this kind of warmth. During the meal, Liang asked Wanda Pietro to follow Natasha Romanoff to sell technical drawings to make money by the way, and the two nodded in agreement without thinking too much. Regardless of the hustle and bustle outside at the moment, inside the wooden house, there is warmth and harmony. Everyone spent the night in the snowstorm. The next day, Liang took a group of people to go back to the Ural Mountains. Definitely the little girl's passport was faked and her identity was fake. At least there was no problem boarding the plane. While waiting to board the plane at the Canadian airport. Suddenly, the frequent floating crowd near the airport seemed to freeze suddenly. Both time and space seemed to stand still. Liang was the only one sitting on the chair, but he didn't panic, just looking at the old man in the wheelchair in front of him. He glanced around, and immediately realized that the other party used his spiritual power to construct an illusory scene to communicate with him face to face. This illusory scene is not an invasion of the mind, and if he wants to, he can even break it easily. This Professor X is also a person who looks after the dishes, and has not invaded his own soul. He didn't even invade Sergei and the others beside him. One must know that Liang, who possesses the arrogance of a king and the arrogance of knowledge, is extremely powerful in capturing breath energy, and the slightest abnormality will alarm him. Nice to meet you, Mr. Liang, please forgive me for using this way. Liang was not surprised that the other party would know his name. After all, Sergei called out his name in front of the children in the base. He was just surprised that the opponent's speed was so fast, and he found himself in less than a day. Professor X. Liang nodded his chin as a greeting. The professor didn't care about Liang's slightly indifferent attitude, but said gently, Thank you very much for your help, saving me and those innocent children. I accept your thanks. Liang thanked his subordinates, he did not talk nonsense among adults, but chose to be straightforward. He looked directly into the old man's eyes and said, saving you was an accident. Our purpose is to kill that garbage and save those children, but based on this, I want to make a deal with you. Please tell me your conditions, Mr. Liang. The professor didn't change his face. The things are here with me. I need you to help me build a stealth aircraft. By the way, I need to be able to evade radar and military satellites so that I can fly around the world for vacation. Liang expressed his conditions happily. Although he picked up Blink, the little girl is still young and needs time to grow up. The teleportation ability is not available for the time being. He still needs a plane, especially to avoid radar and military satellites. He didn't doubt the ability of Beast, the great inventor. Sure enough, just as he thought, the professor thought for a few seconds and nodded in agreement, this may take some time. As for money, the professor didn't mention it. Is one year enough time? Definitely enough. Thank you, you can ask your people to get the USB flash drive. Thank you very much. If you still need it, you can contact us at any time. We will do our best to help. Wang. The world in front of him shattered in an instant, and the world in front of him began to function again, and the crowd was still surging. His strangeness was only noticed by Sergei and other people who were a little more sophisticated in domineering cultivation. Ignoring the searching gazes of Sergei and the others, he turned his head and took a look. 
Not far away, a woman with wine red hair was looking at him. Just in time, when the boarding announcement came, Liang led everyone to get up from their seats and leave without looking at the woman. However, a U disc was left on the original seat. The news of the death of Colonel Stryker in the military has finally not been hidden from the U.S. government. A colonel's status in the U.S. military is neither high nor low, but Stryker originally has interest entanglements behind him, and his status as a military scientist is also slightly special. What's more, before the President of the United States was assassinated by mutant, Stryker immediately recommended himself and said that he would launch a targeted plan for the mutant group. Raid on Mutant Academy without the government knowing. Definitely knowing, it's just a state of tacit consent. Unexpectedly, Stryker was killed on the back foot, so the object of suspicion is definitely mutant. It can be said that the death of Stryker immediately attracted the attention of the U.S. government, because its nature was as bad as the assassination of the president. Some senior officials even believed that it was mutant's full-scale declaration of war on the United States. Just when a group of senior government officials started a joint meeting to discuss whether to clean up mutant. A piece of information instantly detonated the internet and public opinion. In this document, the military Colonel Stryker described in detail all kinds of brutal human experiments on mutant over the past 10 years, and there are even extremely bloody videos, which are so bloody that they are even anti-human. This is undoubtedly unacceptable to all human beings. It has nothing to do with politics or hegemony, but no one cares whether Stryker is a U.S. military figure. Bashing. Obviously, Stryker's approach has caused the world's outrage. All kinds of angry remarks against Stryker completely detonated social media. In less than 24 hours, there was only one focus on social media on major networks, and that was Stryker, which once caused the server to crash. Major news media hosts urgently added programs, criticizing the military, the government, and Stryker. This is a traffic feast. In this world-class public opinion environment, these news media are not afraid of the government's liquidation afterwards. In fact, originally the federal government and the military are already battered at this time. Public criticism has begun to backlash against the government and the military. In fact, both the government and the military have a tacit agreement on human experimentation. They neither oppose nor allow it. As long as it is not exposed, as long as it can bring benefits, they can acquiesce. But once exposed, they will have to swallow the consequences. Angry people don't care whether the government and the military know about it or not, so they have to bear the blame honestly. The White House spokesperson urgently stood up overnight and stated that all of Stryker's actions were private actions, and the federal government had no knowledge of them at all, and the military spokesperson also expressed the same remarks. However, it has little effect. The battered government even wants to control public opinion, but unfortunately, things have become too big to suppress public opinion. Ever since, in order to stabilize the situation, the government and the military found a few blamers to announce their resignation to calm the anger and public opinion of the people. As for the action against the mutant group, it is naturally completely shelved. Xavier Academy for Teens, New York. The Academy, which was originally messy due to a raid by Stryker, has undergone some rectification and changed back to its original appearance. For the Stryker. William Incident, we express our deep apologies to the world and the mutant community. In the principal's office, the X-Men and the professor looked at the White House spokesperson's apology on the monitor in front of them. Scott and Logan finally breathed a sigh of relief. It can be said that this time the mutant crisis is over. Even after the limelight passes, mutant status and environment will ease. After all, it is human nature to sympathize with the weak. No matter how mutant was not liked by the mainstream before, but when the human experiment was exposed, they will receive preferential treatment from public opinion and the environment for a period of time. This matter is finally over. With a cigar in his mouth, Logan twisted his neck with a displeased face. He was probably the most displeased one of them, and he didn't kill anyone. Fortunately, Liang and those people are prepared enough, otherwise we will inevitably encounter targeting and cleaning. Storm Aurora crossed his arms and his face was full of joy. She just wants to rest for a few days now. But who are they? From the perspective of strength and meticulous and cautious style of doing things, it is hard for me to imagine that they are just a group of young people under the age of 20. Beast stood at the edge of the desk and asked. 
The others nodded silently. After all, this matter was anticlimactic, and a fierce battle was resolved so quietly. And they don't even know each other's details. Professor X listened to everyone's conversation, looked at Chin who had been silent all this time, and asked gently, Chin, have you met Mr. Liang, what do you think? The rest looked at Chin. Facing the eyes of everyone, Chin organized her words a little before answering. The first impression they gave me was that they were clean and clear, but they were more like being in a pride of lions. Lions. Everyone's heart moved. That's right, the lions. They are a group of very young lions, and Liang is undoubtedly the king of the lions. I met his eyes once, and I still can't forget that look. Chin whispered, the young man still looked back in his mind. Emotions are revealed in the eyes, the kind of eyes that seem to penetrate the heart, penetrate the soul. Some strange comments. Scott rubbed his chin, slightly puzzled. The professor gave an explanation, Chin is right. Liang is leading a young lion group. They have a common goal. They are kind and strong. They may have an unknown past, but we will not enemies may become friends. This kind of friend who doesn't know his origin will always make people a little wary, Professor. Storm said. At least we are not enemies, no matter what their purpose is, but they did save us and let us avoid a crisis. It's not bad. Beast Hank nodded in agreement, and then complained, it's just that we still owe them a plane, so, have you prepared a helper for me, Professor? Haha. <laughs> It's only hard work for you, Hank. Fortunately, I prepared a new type of fighter in advance, which saved me a lot of trouble. Hank said helplessly, I really don't know why they are so sure that we can build such a fighter. I'm definitely sure that guy with the same body as Beast is the best in the world at invention. On the sofa of the wooden house villa, Liang said solemnly. Pietro questioned, you must know that the fighter plane you mentioned is too comprehensive, including vertical lift technology, optical engine, radar shielding, and the ability to break through space. Even the United States has not developed the ability. It sounds like this fighter is handsome and comprehensive. But it doesn't sound like a mutant can research it. Yeah, Pietro, are you questioning Boss Liang? At this time, Sergei came over wearing a blue sweater with a glass of water, and looked at Pietro mockingly. Pietro was heartbroken, and looked at Liang, and sure enough, he saw the latter's half-smile expression, as if saying that you dare to question my uncle. Turn back and kill you. The original words in his mouth immediately changed. Oh, how is it possible, Boss Liang never missed what he said, and I was just asking a question just now, please don't provoke the relationship between me and the boss. As he spoke, he even pointed at Sergei and the other snickering guys on the sofa, outraged. Brother Pietro is like a sycophant. Alina, who is watching TV with her little sisters, inadvertently gave Pietro a knowing arrow while holding the little sable. Heartbroken. That careless speech can cause unimaginable pain. Pietro stared wide-eyed, covered his chest and looked at Alina with an unbelievable expression. What is a sycophant? Shouldn't this be the truth? Doesn't the little guy know that if he doesn't say that, Boss Liang will make him super double his training later? He even beat himself up sternly during training. He, Pietro, is just a man who struggles to make a living, why should he be so targeted at him? Pietro feels that he is too difficult, can this world be better? The little guy's face was full of innocence, which made Pietro so angry that he couldn't speak. Ha ha, Pietro made your kid like pie. Hey, Pietro, my advice is to take this fool and go outside and calm down. Several bad friends of Seligai jeered, making Pietro lean on the sofa with the expression of a salted fish abandoned by the world, and he chose to exile himself. But this does not prevent Seligai and the others from continuing to ridicule and teach P-Boy a lesson, they are so willing. The atmosphere inside the chalet is nice. Clarice, who watched TV secretly with Alina and her two little sisters, let go of her apprehension and followed Liang to an unknown place. It was she who made the biggest gamble in her life. But it seems that she bet right. Li Ang's brothers and sisters are all good people, and she likes it here. Li Ang leaned on the sofa and noticed that Clarice was secretly looking at him, so he returned a gentle smile, making the little guy a little at a loss. He smiled, looked outside the door, stood up and walked out. Sure enough, outside the door, Yuriko Koyama was wearing a sweater and holding a glass of cold water, looking at the heavy snow falling outside, with confusion in her eyes. 
Hearing the sound of footsteps stepping on the plank, he turned around and saw Liang. Liang walked to her side and spoke first, feeling a little uncomfortable. It's nice and warm here, but I always feel out of place. Yuriko replied honestly, she lost all her memories, and what she had was only the cruel scenes after being manipulated by Stryker. She is like a homeless beast, but suddenly came to such a warm home. She was a little confused and felt uncomfortable. Li Ang understands this feeling very well. To put it bluntly, this Yuriko is like a veteran who got war stress syndrome after retiring from the battlefield, unable to adapt to normal life. But I'm not worried that Lily won't be able to blend in. Because, Lily can't fit into an ordinary family, are they ordinary people? Will you trust me? Unlike others, Li Ang's approach to Lily is very simple and direct. Bai Hezi looked directly at Li Ang, and after a few seconds of looking at each other, she instinctively lowered her head from the clean, clear but dignified eyes, I believe in you, because I can feel your attitude towards me. That's good, time will test your choice, we won't limit your freedom, open your heart to meet the future. Li Ang patted Yuriko's shoulder. Also, I believe you won't have time to think about this in the future, because you are a born fighter. To put it bluntly, it was lack of training. During the harsh training, he couldn't do it. This woman still has time to think about it. And because of Yuriko's super self-healing ability, he gave this woman far more training than others. Yuriko didn't know why, but she couldn't help shivering for some reason. Could it be that it was too cold? She silently glanced at the sweater she was wearing, she thought to herself. At this time, there were two roars in the distance. Arousing Yuriko's vigilance, she raised her head suddenly, like a grinning beast, staring wide-eyed at the dark jungle, waiting to attack at any time. Boom. The next moment, under Yuriko's horrified eyes, two vigorous figures pierced through the night like thunder and suddenly appeared in front of the wooden house. Huge amounts of turbulent air waves, engulfed in a sky full of wind and snow, blasted all directions. Under the reflection of the light at the door, Wanda and Natasha Romanoff were revealed. So fast. Yuriko saw the faces of Wanda and Natasha Romanoff clearly. Although she put down her guard, her heart became more and more shocked. In the base, she was kicked down by Li Ang, and she had never seen anyone else make a move. Naturally, she was not intuitively aware of the fighting strength of Wanda and the others, but judging from the explosive speed, she smelled danger. Hey, good evening, two beautiful ladies. Li Ang waved his hand in greeting. Congratulations, Li Ang, you are about to become a billionaire. Natasha Romanoff and Wanda walked up the steps side by side. Through my own special channel, I have already contacted members of an organization, met the leader of the other party, and we have established a cooperation intention. In the wooden villa, Natasha Romanoff sat on the sofa and took a sip of hot tea. Li Ang sat aside and nodded to continue. The two blueprints are priced at 1.5 billion US dollars respectively. If the deal is concluded, then you will be a billionaire. Natasha Romanoff patted Li Ang's shoulder playfully. I need to buy cosmetics and new clothes, and you have to give me pocket money. This is our money. As for the money, you can take care of it. Li Ang rolled his eyes. Although he is about to reap 3 billion US dollars, he is not very excited. At his level, if he wants to make money, there are ways. Although he is not tempted, others are different. Immediately, a wolf howled. Wow, Boss Li Ang, we need money, I want to buy game consoles, I want to buy equipment, new computers. I want to change my earphones. I want to buy some new clothes, but the original clothes seem a little small. Sergey, Pietro and others excitedly raised their hands to express their demands. In the past, when Li Ang was rich, he certainly did not treat them badly. Electronic products, clothes, etc. were not left behind. It was not enough. It's different now. The concept of 3 billion US dollars, such a large amount of money, instantly ignited their shopping mentality. Even Alina's three little radish heads expressed their wish to buy more snacks. The little guys are not very interested in toys or something. Facing a large group of excited people who surrounded him, Li Ang directly blamed him. Don't look at me, now Natasha Romanoff is our financial officer, all expenses need to be approved by her, I advise you to go please her. This time, Pietro, who reacted quickly, 
even used the high-speed movement to take out ice cream and other items from the refrigerator in the shortest possible time and put them in front of Natasha Romanoff, and then teleported behind her. Like a dog's leg, he tapped his shoulder lightly. One side was full of flattery and said, Beautiful, beautiful and generous Ms. Natasha Romanoff, I believe that your beauty is comparable to Venus, and your kindness is comparable to Prometheus. I am sure you will not refuse the entreaties of your most loyal Pietro. The rest of the people gathered in front of Natasha Romanoff, like stars holding the moon, beat their legs, pinched their arms, and even Alina and the little ones joined in the fun, pulling Clarice all over Natasha Romanoff on the thigh, the little face was flushed, and the big watery eyes were open. Just highlight a dogleg. Even Wanda was squeezed out, which made Wanda unhappy immediately. Hey, Pietro, I've never seen you treat me so well. Ha, Wanda, believe me, Natasha Romanoff is my kin at this point. Pietro hits Wanda with the most callous words without looking back. Wanda was so angry that he almost used origin magic power to give Pietro a shot. Watching Li Ang slapped his legs and laughed. Natasha Romanoff also understood very well. She stood upright and maintained her reserve like a supremely elegant goddess. Well, here, to Pietro, I need your help on my shoulder. Yes, and the left arm, well, the ice cream is good. He was eating the ice cream fed by Alina, while directing the dog legs. After serving the supreme goddess Natasha Romanoff, Pietro still asked flatteringly, Beautiful Ms. Natasha Romanoff, how are we doing? Very good, tell me what you want to buy in the future. Natasha Romanoff is very satisfied with the other party's obsequious attitude. Yo-ho. Pietro happily disappeared immediately, went back to the room and took out a pen and paper to think about his purchase list. Seeing this situation, the others also started talking, and Natasha Romanoff responded one by one. It was not enough to make everyone happy, and they all left to conceive their own list like Pietro for a while. Looking at the backs of the crowd heading to the second floor, Liang smiled and shook his head. These boys are still young, and they were easily manipulated by Natasha Romanoff. After taking charge of the financial power, Natasha Romanoff has to make these little fools suffer. Koyama Yuriko sat on the sofa beside her, watching this scene with a different look in her eyes. Is this the atmosphere of family? Why did she have the idea of wanting to join? Liang, Natasha Romanoff, Wanda and Yuriko were left on the entire first floor. Natasha Romanoff wasn't joking either, her expression turned serious. Although our operation went smoothly this time, I also found that someone seems to be chasing us, or me. A man from Drakef. Li Ang frowned. For a year, since Natasha Romanoff joined, she rarely went out, and Drakov couldn't find it. Natasha Romanoff was targeted as soon as she went out, and the other party still hasn't given up. I don't know, but I think there should be not one group of people, but two groups of people. Two groups of people. That's right, one of them may be Drakov, but the other one is hiding very deeply and is very patient. However, Wanda and I have caught it several times, but when we just realized that we wanted to track him down, the other party disappeared immediately, which is rare. Natasha Romanoff nodded. You must know that the current Natasha Romanoff is completely different from a year ago. Originally, she has undergone rigorous training and transformation since she was a child, and her physical fitness is extremely good. With the addition of breathing techniques, which can strengthen her physical fitness at the fastest speed, and two-color domineering practice, she is even can't move the normal state of the whole concentration. But it won't be much inferior, and she is originally an expert in this field, making her perception even better. What's more, there is Wanda by his side, and the knowledge and knowledge are quite accurate in capturing the breath. The opponent can not be caught under the two of them, which shows that it is quite unusual. Somewhat interesting, could it be someone from Hydra? Li Ang thought for a while, but then shook his head. No matter who they are, they will show their feet sooner or later, but our plan has to be advanced, track down Drakef, get rid of him, make an accident and fully accept his secret assets. Drakov is not a simple person, and his assets are huge, not to mention the Red House base that trains a large number of spies. But this person is being watched by S.H.I.E.L.D. Even if they don't do anything, S.H.I.E.L.D. may find a chance to kill him. Drakov's apparent assets cannot be moved and are easily exposed, but his hidden assets are acceptable. Natasha Romanoff is very clear about this. 
Speaking of Drakov, Natasha Romanov's eyes shone coldly. The culprit who had already experienced her own tragic experience and changed her life, she could only hide because the other party was too powerful in the past, but now, she no longer needs to be afraid to hide from the other party. I won't make a move, you can solve it, let Wanda manipulate Drakev to transfer some assets that are useful to us, and sell the useless ones, and don't move the obvious ones, it's too conspicuous. Okay, I'll plan. Natasha Romanov answered without hesitation. With the help of Natasha Romanoff and Wanda, Liang is very relieved. As for himself, after this toss, he still needs to continue to settle down. The sky is full of the sun, and the dazzling sunlight is scattered all over Brazil. In front of the Noble Hotel, a luxurious Rolls Royce slowly stopped, and as the doorman opened the door respectfully, a Russian man came down in a suit and leather shoes, followed by several strong men in suits. Bodyguard. After entering the Noble Hotel, I took the elevator all the way to the restaurant of the hotel. The man came to the floor-to-ceiling window, and someone was already waiting for him at the table at the moment. He was wearing glasses, and there were three bodyguards standing behind him. Seeing the man's arrival, the white man wearing glasses stood up and shook hands with the man. Shake hands. Mr. Drakoff, it is a pleasure to meet you this time. Me too, Mr. Havoc, I believe we will reach a cooperation this time. The bodyguards of both sides wisely stood a little farther away, but in fact it happened to be a safe distance for support at any time. Drakoff and Havoc were sitting at the dining table, drinking fine wine, and eating food cooked by the chef of the restaurant, while discussing cooperation intentions. A long time passed, and finally the two parties reached a deal. After standing up and shaking hands, Drakov took the lead to leave with a smile. A big deal was confirmed, which made Drakov very happy. He decided to stay in Brazil for two more days. After opening the presidential suite in the Noble Hotel, he washed and put on a white bath towel, poured himself a glass of whiskey, and held the mug stands in front of the French window. Looking at the city and the coastline in the distance from a bird's eye view. Beautiful landscape city, everything looks good. But the beauty will eventually be destroyed. He suddenly remembered a figure, the ace spy he carefully cultivated defected. Huh, Natasha Romanoff. Drakov's face became gloomy because Natasha Romanoff's defection made him realize that when a tool, a machine has self-awareness, it will be out of control. Where there is one, there must be a second. This is something Drakov simply cannot tolerate. In his view, those spies are his own assets. How can assets have self-awareness? And he also thought of all solutions. Pheromones. Using compounds to control the will of those spies will only submit to his will. However, the mysterious disappearance of Natasha Romanoff also made him feel like a stick in his throat. As the head of the Red House, he knows how lethal the spies he cultivated are. If the other party retaliates, he will live in anxiety every day. I will find you, Natasha Romanoff. Drinking the whiskey in the glass in one gulp. Drakev said viciously. However, just as he finished speaking, a familiar and hoarse voice came into his ears. I don't think you need to come to me, Drakov, I'm right in front of you. Boom. As if struck by lightning, Drakov's body froze, and a huge wave rose in his heart. He couldn't believe it at all. Although he didn't look back, he felt an extremely dangerous and bloodthirsty beast standing behind him. He turned around stiffly, and saw two women standing behind him. A Natasha Romanoff in a red leather jacket, and a young woman in a gray hoodie he hadn't seen before. A year later, in the eyes of Drakov, the strongest spy under his command seems to be doing well, and her temperament has also changed. Before, she was like an indifferent and unconscious tool, but now, she is more like a, people. Looking at the man in front of him, Natasha Romanoff's mouth twitched, and danger flashed in his beautiful green eyes, miss me. Boss. An old fox named Drakov glanced at the closed door behind the two women without leaving a trace. A hand in his pocket kept pressing the siren, but no one came in at all, which meant that his bodyguards on the bright side and even the hidden whistle in the dark were all solved. His mind sank, and after he took a breath, he still kept his luck in his heart, and said in a deep voice, Natasha Romanoff, long time no see. Your defection made me sad for a long time. Sad. Natasha Romanoff slanted her head slightly, and ruthlessly tore off the veil of Drakov's hypocrisy, 
I think you are more angry, so angry that you want to tear me into pieces. How come, you are the best spy I have trained. Drakev's expression remained unchanged. The veil covers your ugliness that makes me sick, Drakov. Natasha Romanov's tone became colder, and her eyes became colder and more piercing, piercing Drakov's heart. You have created countless tragedy and countless families broken. You should pay for it too. You know, Natasha Romanov, even if you kill me, you still can't change everything, and you will encounter even crazier revenge and pursuit. Drakov's back was soaked, and the danger of death finally moved him. However, he couldn't imagine how Natasha Romanov, who had disappeared for a year, had changed. Your industry, your hard work, will be disintegrated. I will let you see this scene and die. Natasha Romanov sneered. If you are still expecting your bodyguards, it's a pity. Boom. The door was kicked open behind him, and he saw Sergei's burly body, holding two women who fainted in tight combat uniforms with one hand and the other. He threw it on the ground casually. Drakev looked at the fainted black widows on the ground, and he felt more and more hopeless. Under Natasha Romanov's gesture, Wanda's eyes were rendered red, and the red origin magic power energy instantly covered Drakev's body. The latter's eyes also turned red, and the originally gloomy and desperate eyes became dull. In an underground base in a mountain range in Eastern Europe, Drakev was standing on the high-rise steel frame, his eyes full of despair looking at the rows of women in tight combat uniforms. Everyone's eyes revealed numbness, indifference and ruthlessness. It's like a ruthless robot. No, 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 they are all my assets, you devils. He clearly remembered what he was manipulated to do. He personally transferred his huge assets wandering in the gray area to the secret account specially prepared by Natasha Romanov. Some useless assets were even sold off. Although the assets on the surface have not moved, what he really relies on will always be these shady assets. The black widows he cultivated are the foundation for him to accumulate a huge industry in a short period of time. His plan to control the world economy has just begun, but now it is blocked. This blow is more painful than death. They are all just a bunch of poor people. Believe me, people like you will go to hell after death. Natasha Romanov stood beside him and said softly, you will use your own assets to liberate them, and they will give everything for you. The property you get will be used for charity to find their original family. All of what happened last night, you will end your sinful sound one day in a dark and deserted alley, and you will witness all of this from another perspective until the end of your life. Killing the heart is nothing more than the case, Natasha Romanov will never kill Drakov easily. She chose to use this method to deal with people like Drakev. There is no doubt that this is the way to make the other party's life worse than death. And those innocent black widows will also find their parents, relatives, and friends, and return to normal life. It's all she can do. Natasha Romanov nodded to Wanda on the side. Wanda stood beside Drakev, stretched out her hand. The powerful origin magic power invaded his mind, tampered with his will. A new will let Drakev follow Wanda, Natasha Romanov's thoughts in action. He became a tool man to redeem those black widows, just as Natasha Romanov said. When everything is over, he will die where no one knows. No one knew that the other soul of the standing expressionless Drakov was screaming in despair and anger, but no one could respond. He could only watch helplessly as the huge underground empire he built collapsed. And Natasha Romanov and Wanda walked out of the base side by side. Outside the base, Sergei, who was wearing a vest and showing two muscular arms, was waiting for them leaning on the front of a Humvee with his arms folded. Boom. The three got into the Hummer and looked up at the sun in the sky. Natasha Romanov sat in the rear driver's seat and let out a long sigh of relief. A knot was finally resolved. Finally solved, you can go back and practice hard. Seligai stretched himself in the driver's seat, and started the Humvee with the fire. Natasha Romanov smiled lightly, held the USB flash drive in her hand and looked at it in front of her eyes. The co-pilot Wanda saw this scene through the rearview mirror and asked curiously, Sister Natasha Romanov, how much is the sale of gray assets this time? It's not just money that's really valuable. Not money. Yeah, I didn't expect Rakev to be so ambitious. He actually tried to build a sky fortress, and he has already planned the technical drawings. Let's go, let's give Li Ang a surprise. Natasha Romanov smiled mysteriously. From Drakov's database, I didn't expect that there would be unexpected surprises. 
Maybe Li Ang would be shocked when he found out. What a big surprise. On the edge of the waterfall cliff, Li Ang sat on a rock, looking at the screen on the tablet computer with a U disk inserted in his lap, his eyes flickered slightly. Sky Fortress, if this thing can be built, we will have a base camp that can move and disappear at any time in the future. There are technical drawings and very detailed information in the USB flash drive. In other words, the technology is already very mature, just waiting to be built. This did surprise Liang, but Natasha Romanoff gave him a blow from the sidelines. Although there are technical blueprints, even if it is built by Drakev's hands, it will take several years to build. We're not short of time. Liang shrugged. Natasha Romanoff knew what Liang was thinking, and said with a smile, I will put money into the base funds for building the fortress every year. Anyway, there is Drakev's money. Liang said that he has a lot of money. Not only does it not lose money, but it can also make a lot of money. After thinking about it for a while, he continued, the group of people in the base communicate well. Maybe we will need them in the future. Understood. The following year passed in a very peaceful time. And this year is also the origin of the beginning of all events. During the winter solstice, Siberia was deserted, and the wind and snow turned the whole world into a piece of white. The heavy snow buried all traces, as if there was only the purest cold here. Ha! Huh. Heavy snow fell, and piercing winds blew across hundreds of thousands of miles of endless ice. And just above a raised iceberg, several figures were standing against the wind and snow, their thick scarves constantly dancing in the strong wind. One of the taller figures looked at the ice ahead. Wearing a gray velvet hat, revealing a delicate and beautiful face. What are we waiting for? Next to the woman stood a man who was also wearing a thick down jacket, but his face was covered with blue hair and his body was extremely strong. He covered the velvet hat on his head with one hand to prevent it from being blown away by the strong wind, while he was puzzled, shouted to the woman next to him. We're waiting for him. The woman glanced at the man who came with him, the corner of her mouth curled up, and she stretched out her finger to point forward. The blue-haired man and his companion looked at each other, and looked in the direction she was pointing, only to see the white ice on the side. Just when a man wants to say something. Rumble. The ground within a radius of several kilometers suddenly shook with a terrifying amplitude, and the force of the vibration made the wind, snow and gravel on the ice layer roll. Suddenly, there was a, bang. The ice layer in the area pointed by the woman suddenly burst, and a terrifying golden torrent rushed straight into the sky from the ice cave. The raging brilliance swept across the sky like flowing gold, and dyed the sky into a golden river. The wind and snow stopped, and a domineering and terrifying aura swept all directions. Let the originally white world turn into a golden and red blended world. The terrifying aura suppressed the man and his companions, and their expressions suddenly changed. The overwhelming terrifying aura was like a god sitting on the throne of the sky, and the terror of death reverberated in his heart. The two of them only felt an inexplicable impact on their consciousness. Consciousness has even faintly begun to blur. They endured the mental pain. They looked up at the sky, and the golden sky seemed to have been torn apart by the horror. What's this? The man with blue hair like beast couldn't believe it, and his senses were frantically warning, telling him to stay away from here, far away from this place like the abyss of death. The woman on the side couldn't help but smile when she saw that the two of them were clearly trying to control, but they were still posing with their feet. Isn't the person you want to meet there? Boom. 10,000 feet of golden rendering, endless golden particles spewed out from the ice cave, and finally struck towards everyone like a swarm of golden meteors. The man with the red quartz eye glasses couldn't help but want to attack, but reason forced him not to do so. Finally, in the blink of an eye, densely packed golden particles 10,000 meters away converged into a human form in midair in front of everyone. With a nearly perfect tall figure of 1.85 meters, he is handsome and mature beyond his grade. His sharp eagle-like eyes are filled with a ray of red lightning flashing across his body. He only wears a white vest on his upper body, and his exposed arms and muscles are tense. The woman threw the red coat in her hand, and the man reached out to take it, and put it on neatly. Then the figure slowly fell from the sky in front of everyone. Nice to meet you, Hank, Scott, and I'm even happier for your surprise. 
As the man's slightly magnetic voice fell, the dazzling golden color of the sky slowly dissipated, and the heavy snow continued to fall from the sky. And the man is Liang, and the woman is Wanda. Cyclops Scott and Hank still showed shock in their eyes, and the former was considered by Professor X to be the best leader. He forcibly suppressed the tension caused by facing Liang, and said calmly, we will never forget the promise to the friendly side of mutant. In addition, I finally understand why Stryker was pierced by you so easily and freely. Hank nodded in agreement. A year ago, the human experiment data downloaded by Li Ang from the Stryker base improved their mutant environment. For this reason, Hank hastened to build an aircraft that meets Li Ang's conditions during this year. I never thought that when it was delivered, I saw such a very impactful picture. The two once wondered whether Li Ang was also a mutant, otherwise the performance would be too exaggerated, and his body and experience are completely inconsistent with the horror spirit. They had never seen such a boldness even in a character like Magneto. After all, Magneto won't overwhelm them with his boldness so that they almost don't even have the desire to do it. But the good news is that although it shocked Li Ang's terrifying strength, the other party did not hide it which is enough to prove that Li Ang really does not seem to have much malice towards them. Li Ang breathed out a breath of cold air, the brows were full of gentleness, not as domineering as before. I'm looking forward to the masterpiece of the greatest inventor of this century. The endless wind and snow road, in this wind and snow world, Li Ang and the others are as insignificant as an ant. During the march, Li Ang was at the forefront, and a black fighter plane was parked on the ice field a kilometer away. This black fighter that doesn't look too big, with a streamlined metal shell, is full of futuristic sense of technology. The cabin door steps down, and everyone came into the fighter plane. At this time, Hank finally regained his self-confidence, he introduced to Liang and Wanda. The fighter plane is powered by a turbo engine, coupled with a specially designed shape that can achieve maximum acceleration in a short period of time, and is equipped with anti-gravity vertical takeoff and landing technology, optical stealth, and radar shielding technology. Radar track. The maximum speed can reach Mach 3, and the maximum altitude can break through the atmosphere, so the cabin is also equipped with an oxygen system and a space suit. The indoor space is enough to accommodate 20 to 30 people. With the endless introduction, even Wanda, who is not very interested in mechanization, stared wide-eyed. It can be said that the excellence of the fighter introduced by Hank has surpassed any known aircraft in the world. The only possible disadvantage is that it is more expensive to use. If the maintenance cost of this big guy wasn't for Li Ang's 3 billion US dollars and a part of Drakef's gray industrial assets, it would be too much to keep such a big guy. Li Ang is very satisfied with this fighter. With this fighter, he will save too much trouble. As for whether he would violate the laws of which country, he never considered this issue. The law will always limit those who cannot break the order, and those who really have rights and power will never limit themselves because of the law. Li Ang has no rights, but he has enough strength. One year of subduing and hard training, the development of the sparkling fruit, and the cultivation of the three-color domineering spirit have grown enough. Already have the strength of a general. At his level, he already has the capital to turn against the world's top powers, especially the United States. The plane has the function of assisted piloting, and it is not difficult to fly. Under the guidance of Hank, Liang and Wanda took off the fighter plane very easily, and rushed all the way to the Ural Mountains. Looking out the window and seeing the snow-covered scenery below, it is quite interesting. An endless desolation in the loneliness of Frost World. On the open road in the Ural Mountains, Hank and Scott got off the plane together, and drove towards the nearby cities in the cheap second-hand pickup truck and map that Li Ang kindly sent. As for how the two returned to New York, that's not what Li Ang cares about. He drove the plane all the way back to the wooden villa, and slowly fell down on the open ground nearby. It also caused Sergei, Natasha Romanoff and others who had already noticed the movement. A year of growth has made these children much more mature. Coupled with continuous exercise, every child is full of vitality like the morning sun. Under the cold wind and snow, this group of people still wearing thin clothes came out lively, full of admiration, watching their own more fighters. A group of boys waited for the cabin door to open, and Hula Laporte into it. They looked left and right curiously, and they were sensible enough not to press some strange buttons. Cool, 
what a handsome plane. The space is so big, our family will also have a private jet in the future, haha. Ha. Is it possible that with this plane, we don't need to get passports and go to the black market to rent smuggled cars in the future? Sure, it's going to be a great plane to fly. Everyone was chattering. In particular, Pietro, who is not skinny, uses high-speed movement to scurry around, and even goes to the outer shell of the aircraft to look at the engine nozzle. Natasha Romanoff was the calmest and came to the cockpit. Li Ang took out the aircraft function introduction book prepared by Hank and handed it to Natasha Romanoff. Natasha Romanoff flipped through it for a while, and found that the functions of the aircraft are quite complete and advanced, and she couldn't help showing admiration. The one called Hank Mutant is very powerful, and it took a year to build such an aircraft. He is an amazing top scientist. I believe that if he is not a mutant, he will be famous all over the world with another identity. That's right, this is the cruelty of this world. Li Ang and Wanda stood up and looked at the visitors in the rear cabin. After finishing speaking, he left a sentence and left the plane. It's up to you Natasha Romanoff, make sure they each learn how to drive this big guy. Looking at the back of Li Ang's departure, Natasha Romanoff raised a slender eyebrow at Wanda, his mood seems to be a little high. When I saw him on the ice field, I already felt it. Isn't it just because of this big guy? You know him Natasha Romanoff, this big guy doesn't cause the kind of mood swings that I've seen in him when he escaped the test site that year. Wanda shrugged. Natasha Romanoff nodded silently, maybe, we don't even know him. There is still something hidden inside him that we don't know about. The delicate Natasha Romanoff and Wanda captured Li Ang's emotional changes, but Li Ang didn't care, and all his energy was put on the check-in system. After accumulating more than 700 days of sign-ins, he is looking forward to what kind of rewards he will get. He didn't go back to the wooden villa at the first time, but came to the depths of the Ural Mountains, where he was training before, standing on an open ice surface, ignoring the heavy snow falling in the sky, and the virtual reality that only he could see appeared in the perspective of his eyes. Screen. Accumulated sign in 748 days, whether to start sign in. Ding, open the sign in and get rewards, Tianran number 7 is currently located in the Andromeda galaxy. A simple sentence made Li Ang's pupils shrink suddenly. Sky Blade No. 7. I didn't expect that the sign in accumulated in two years turned out to be a battleship. Disappointed. Happy. There may be both, but it cannot be denied that as the king of angel, he sits down on the space short technological weapon Tianblade series warships, whose powerful functions are of great help to him. As the highest and shortest technology of angel civilization that has been developed for countless billions of years. The functions of the Skyblade series warships are second to none. Even in this universe, there are almost no warships that can be said to have reached the level of technology of the Skyblade series. But compared to Skyblade 7, Liang is more greedy. Why didn't he sign himself a mellow heaven? The complete mellow heaven is the real center of angel civilization. Ding. At this time, an ethereal and indifferent female voice appeared in my mind. Complete positioning, Liang, the person with the highest authority. Li Ang squinted his eyes, open the wormhole and send me back to Sky Blade 7. The wormhole has been opened. Wang. As soon as the words fell, Li Ang's figure suddenly disappeared in place with ripples and ripples around him. The next moment, Li Ang's eyes suddenly lit up. Suddenly, I came to a beautiful and resplendent hall, which seemed to be not created by human beings at all. It can be said that the hall that perfectly integrates beauty and art emerges in front of my eyes. The floor is smooth, and a long red carpet connects the gate and the throne ladder at the end. There are four stone pillars full of exquisite carvings standing up and supporting the main hall. The hall was brightly illuminated. Wang. Just as Li Ang was looking at the hall, a beautiful illusory figure suddenly appeared in front of him, it was an extremely beautiful person. The exquisite beauty seems to be indescribable in words. Exuding holy light, golden long hair fell down the slender neck, Wearing bright silver armor, huge breasts seemed to break through the armor, behind a pair of sacred white wings, wearing a red skirt on the lower body, with silver legs on the legs boots. The moment she saw Liang, the beautiful angel immediately clenched her right fist on her chest, and an ethereal female voice came from her red lips. Welcome, Captain Liang. 
are you? Li Ang stared at Angel in front of him, and asked a little hesitantly. My name is Kira, and I am a piece of memory data of the original captain of the Sky Blade 7, which is used to assist the new captain. Although Kira said it was memory data, from the eyes to the subtle expressions, she was more inclined to a real existence. In Li Ang's memory, Kyla seems to have been a high-level angel with 15,000 years of history. Li Ang did not underestimate Kayla, but directly asked the question he was most concerned about. Is there any other angel's gene and memory data in the Sky Blade 7 database? Not at all. I need a detailed explanation of all the functions of Sky Blade 7. Li Ang was a little disappointed. At this time, Kira said softly without hesitation, the memory is starting to connect, do you accept this memory? Accept. Wang. A torrent of memories rushed into Li Ang's mind. Fortunately, his spiritual will was strong enough to not cause him pain and distress. On the contrary, he browsed this memory at an extreme time. Skyblade No. 7 is the cutting-edge weapon of the Angel Civilization Skyblade series. It has super-powerful strike units, especially the lower blade of the Sky Blade can easily split a planet. Due to special reasons, according to the Earth, it is a celestial computer with super-computing power. This kind of computing power can easily capture and locate space a few galaxies away. The dense skylights on both sides can be used as a bridge between two ultra-distance worlds. And the built-in engine triggers an explosion that destroys super-powerful units, such as the solar wind. But it requires a huge amount of energy, and its energy needs to be activated by absorbing the dark energy in the universe through the Skyblade battleship. That is to say, this super-large-scale destructive power has a CD interval. In fact, Li Ang's disadvantage is that he originally does not have the angel gene. Although he has all the permissions, he originally cannot fully connect to the seven engines of the Skyblade, so that he can use the Skyblade engine as an energy source to support the battle. Angel Yan, for example, can achieve a leap in combat power by connecting the support of the Skyblade 7 engine. Fortunately, Tianren Qi still has long-distance support for him, such as the implanted algorithm connection, so that he has a celestial computer behind him to control the Earth's civilization and technology. Using the algorithm, through the special power of the sparkling fruit, it is transformed into a move that drives Liang technology, flare bombing. To put it simply, Li Ang was originally a general-level fighter, but with the help of the algorithm, he can directly launch a flare bombardment that can destroy human civilization on the surface of the Earth. And has the ability to destroy the planet by external force. It's a pity that Sky Blade 7 doesn't have the memory or genetic data of other angels, otherwise it's entirely possible for him to revive these powerful and beautiful angels. Fortunately, Li Ang is not such a greedy person. Sky Blade 7 is enough to satisfy him. It is not certain that he can really sign into a mellow heaven one day in the future. Thinking about owning a beautiful angel legion in the future, the picture is unimaginable. Definitely this is just an idea of Liang. After all, what man can resist an army of strong and beautiful angel ladies? It was simply heaven. Liang is definitely not exempt as a man. After clearly understanding the power of Tianren Qi, Liang's original general direction should be changed. Because of the sign-in system, he led a group of Wanda children under the age of 13 to avoid hunting, painstaking efforts, from scratch, to build his own home in the Ural Mountains, and to use the breathing method as the initial cultivation and growth. I have a house, a car, and my own private jet. Now there are even battleships. At present, Li Ang's original disguise and concealment can be discarded, but the general direction remains unchanged, and he is still embarking on the journey of becoming a god. He even has some capital for the game of gods. Not many, but at least there are. Li Ang walked towards the outside of the hall in a happy mood, while Kira followed Li Ang like a loyal guard angel. Although the Skyblade series battleship is a battleship. But in fact, it was originally a powerful weapon, and it is also a place for angels to recuperate. Angels love extreme beauty in everything, and naturally it is the same with life. The original shape of Sky Blade 7 is somewhat similar to a cross, and in the center of the skylight wings on both sides, there is a very huge amount of city. The architectural style of the city is very beautiful, very imaginative and dreamy. Those castle-like buildings and roads, parks, mountains and rivers, 
flowers and waterfalls are perfectly integrated, and have their own unique ecological environment. There are also many animals, butterflies, birds and other animals. Even if this mimicry environment appears somewhere in the universe the worst corners, in outer space, will operate independently. There is day and night. Living here, you can feel the natural beauty. Standing in front of the steps of the main hall, looking at the beautiful city ahead, I couldn't help being intoxicated. A creature like Angel is indeed an artist. Incorporate beauty into everything. And this kind of beauty is not only humanoid, even other races can feel the beauty from it, and this kind of beauty runs through the aesthetics of any civilization. It's really hard to imagine how magnificent and beautiful Tianchung is. Li Ang sighed softly. Kira stood aside without speaking, her beautiful eyes flickering slightly. Kayla, try to use the seven blades to collect information about this universe, but don't expose the seven blades. Yes, Captain. Li Ang's eyes are deep. The seven battleships of Tianran belong to the forefront of science and technology in this universe. Once the major civilizations in the entire universe are discovered, they have to snatch them if they are not sure. Those top civilizations are stronger than each other. He is not so conceited that he only relies on a Tianran 7 can be ignored. After explaining, Li Ang's heart moved. With the opening of the wormhole technology, he returned to the original place deep in the Ural Mountains. Glancing around, with an astrocomputer as support, he has one of the most basic abilities of angels, the Eye of Insight. The Eye of Insight can see the information flow of the dark plane, so that it can detect all information of the other party from the genetic level. Only a strong enough person or god can interfere with the Eyes of Insight. The most basic information of the Ural Mountains was clear in his heart. He looked up and saw a plane flying at an altitude of 30,000 feet. The information of the captain, flight attendant and passengers on the flight was checked instantly. Even if he wanted to, he could even directly lock and control the plane through the Sky Blade 7, causing it to crash on the spot. At this time, Li Ang truly realized how weak the technology of low-level civilizations was compared to the technology of angel civilizations. Even a single thought could instantly reverse the technology of the entire human civilization. It's like the gap between an ant and an elephant. A moment of silence for human civilization, but then Li Ang straightened his mind. After all, he was the elephant now. In a happy mood, Li Ang turned into golden particles and returned to the wooden villa. Entering the villa, it was very lively inside. Alina pulled Clarice, who had already come out of the haze, to sit on the sofa with a few friends and watch anime on a tablet. Several small heads stuck together, making admiration sounds from time to time. Some of the others were watching TV, some were playing billiards, some were competing with their wrists, and some were simply fighting in a small area in the corner using pure physical skills. It is worth mentioning that the villa has been expanded again, with an astonishingly large space, which has reached more than a thousand square meters. Enough to accommodate the big family toss. Two little sables were running and playing happily in the house. Then he bumped his head on the thigh of Li Ang who had just entered the door, and almost knocked the head of the two little things. Seeing Li Ang, the two little guys hurriedly groaned twice, climbed up the trousers, and came to Li Ang's shoulders, rubbing their furry heads against their cheeks, they were so cute. Li Ang greeted everyone with Rua twice, walked all the way to the refrigerator, took a bottle of iced drink from the refrigerator, and sat down on the sofa. Beside them are Wanda and Natasha Romanoff looking through the handbook Hank brought. Where you go? Natasha Romanoff glanced at Li Ang and asked casually. Li Ang took a sip of his drink and looked at the TV in front of him, then replied casually, go out and take a look around. Suddenly saw a piece of news on TV, and heard the news from the hostess, which caught his attention, and the content made him raise his eyebrows even more. Drakov is dead. This sentence immediately caught the attention of Natasha Romanoff and Wanda, looking up at the TV. The hostess above is talking about how in Brazil, the rich Mandrakov completed a cooperation with another industrial tycoon in Brazil. When he was leaving, a car exploded, causing Drakov and his bodyguards in the car to be killed on the spot. And the incident happened just yesterday afternoon. This guy is finally dead. Sergei, who is sitting on the sofa next door, glanced at him and said something, then he didn't care about finishing his phone. Natasha Romanoff's expression is a bit complicated, the man behind the scenes of her tragic childhood is finally dead, happy, joyful. 
Maybe both. Only. The thoughtful Wanda saw what Natasha Romanoff was thinking, and said softly, if you want to go, go and see, after all, it's your family. Maybe. Natasha Romanoff replied, sighing softly. The winter solstice in the Urals is very long, and there is snow and wind for a huge part of the year. At this point in time, Liang, who brought his family with him, also began to think about one thing. That's when it was time to leave. After several years of dormancy, Liang and his family have added newcomers, and their strength has also grown by leaps and bounds. Except for Clarissa's dead girl Yariko Koyama, others including Alina, who is the youngest in the grade, have practiced a few small breathing techniques to the normal level in the complete work. In addition, the two-color domineering can basically be used proficiently. According to the realm of martial arts novels, it is the realm of Xiaocheng. This strength is sufficient to deal with any crisis. As for settlements, he never thought about the Seventh Heavenly Edge. Although Seventh Heavenly Edge has a wormhole function in an elegant environment, Seventh Heavenly Edge is his trump card so far. This kind of trump card can't risk being exposed just because they live in Wanda. His cautious character can endure loneliness and hide in the deep mountains for several years, not to mention the secret of Tianren 7. So, on this day, he solemnly summoned the whole family. A proposal was made to get out of the Ural Mountains. But what Li Ang didn't expect was that this proposal did not arouse the excitement of everyone, but looked at each other with some hesitation. Seeing that everyone was silent, Li Ang simply hugged Alina with one hand and asked the little guy. In the end, the answer the little guy gave him was yes. I want to be with you, I don't want to be apart. Li Ang suddenly realized that he knew what was going on in the hearts of everyone in Saragai, and the emotional guys misunderstood him, and said angrily, I just said that we should leave here to get in touch with society, and we didn't say we were going to separate, and we can also use this place as a base camp. Quote. Anyway, there's the plane, and Clarice's ability. You have been in a state of intensive cultivation for the past few years, but you also need to get in touch with people outside. From the beginning to the end, Li Ang's idea was only to ensure the safety of the family. Now that they have security, they can go a step further. Most of them are only 17 years old, and they are still in school grade. Maybe you need to go out and make friends, find girls or something. He didn't want to keep these people tied to him all the time. Young birds will always grow up, and they need to learn to fly by themselves, to touch by themselves, and to encounter various things to grow up. Oh, that's all right. When everyone heard that it was not bulk goods, they immediately changed their heavy and puzzled expressions and began to discuss where to settle. Some talked about Brazil, some said Athens, some said Greece, and some said the United States. Basically, Russia and other Eastern European countries were basically not mentioned. After all, since they settled down, they must change to a new place with a better environment. Many countries in Eastern Europe were poor, backward, and even at war in this era. Compared with Eastern Europe, they prefer to go to Western countries to enjoy themselves. After all, in the West, being rich means living a better life. Most of them lean towards the United States. After all, the United States, as the most developed country in terms of economy and military in the world, is really a paradise for the rich. Thinking about it in the dark, this group of people is not a fuel-efficient lamp. There is no psychological burden at all to harm the United States. The only difference is the city of residence. Some want to go to Chicago, some want to go to New York, and some want to go to Los Angeles. However, most of them are the top few big cities in the United States. Thinking that it's relatively close anyway, and with the little girl Clarice's ability special and that fighter plane, it's easier to go back and forth, so I just went to where I wanted to go. The Wanda twins, Li Ang, Sergei, Natasha Romanoff, the dead girl Yuriko Koyama took the four little ones to New York, Gennady, Sumarokov, and Roman Losov went to Chicago, and the rest went to Los Angeles. Highlight a balance. It's not a problem to spend a little money for admission. As for the subjects, everyone has not lagged behind in the past few years, and they can keep up with the progress. In the next few days, everyone officially went to the United States. As for the green card, it is not a big problem to spend some money and use some tricks. Long Island, New York. Li Ang spent 80 million US dollars to buy the next manor here. 
The manor covers an area of 70 acres, a large green space, a completely private manor, and world-class fitness facilities. This is just a small part of the beautifully designed manor. 8,000 square feet horse farm. There are indoor and outdoor horse farms. The large-scale pastures are equipped with viewing platforms. The outdoor horse farms are sandy and grassy, and there are many small fenced horse farms. Swimming pool with jacuzzi and outdoor kitchen, indoor basketball court, indoor theater in barn wood, and more. The main house is the heart of the estate, a perfect combination of traditional style and modern comfort, with a total of 9,000 square feet of living area on two floors and more than 4,000 feet below ground. With six bedrooms, five bathrooms, five fireplaces, and exquisite woodwork everywhere, the outdoor deck on the second floor is a great place to enjoy the swimming pool and rolling green space. But the colonial-style main house is not exaggerated, and the plain appearance reveals a low-key luxury. It can be described as the real life of the super-rich. Li Ang took the Wanda twins and others, and lived in the villa on this day. It is worth mentioning that the helicopters and planes can take off on the huge grassland at any time. Seeing such a super large manor, the four little ones and the Wanda twins were so excited that they spent a full day visiting the manor inside and out. In a wealthy area like Long Island, if you pay enough property fees, the property group will be able to provide sufficient security, and will be equipped with professional security personnel guarding the perimeter of the manor to prevent intrusion. Definitely very expensive, but Li Ang said it doesn't matter. In addition to this, the Maids and Housekeepers Association also provides a large number of professional enough maids and housekeepers. These well-trained maids and butlers can provide the most perfect and exquisite service. You can also choose the length of the contract. All over, Li Ang and others officially started their lives in New York. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and support our channel.